Today we'll be taking a quick look at the Minolta Microscope Adapter 2 here. This adapter allows you to use a Minolta SR mount camera on a microscope for photomicroscopy. I'll be running through the entire process of actually mounting a camera onto the microscope using this adapter and also explain a few of the options you have uh, when getting your setup ready. It's pretty easy overall, um, but I'll just detail each step of the process. The camera I'll be using to demonstrate is this Minolta SR mount, or this Minolta SRT 101, um, which just has an SR mount, but any Minolta SR mount camera will work. Um, the actual adapter itself uh, is just a metal tube. There's no coupling to the microscope, really, and there's no electronics in the adapter. So any simple camera will work. You can also use a modern camera, provided you have the correct Minolta mount adapter for your camera system. The microscope I'll be using is this old Senko microscope. It's very simple, it's just got the three objective optics down here, and then the eyepiece optic, which is in this case a zoom uh, eyepiece. Uh, and then that will complicate things a little bit, but really you can use pretty much any old microscope with this. It's very, ch uh, very easy to actually get this set up, um, and you don't need an expensive microscope. You can uh, just pick one up um, that, that will be pretty cheap and will, and will work pretty well if you're just wanting to try out photomicroscopy for the first time. So let's take a quick look at the actual adapter itself in a little more detail. So the adapter, one side, the silver side over here, that's the part that goes onto the camera. So this is the SR mount section. There's a little red dot that indicates where it mounts and you can just stick it onto the camera, lock it in place just like you would a normal Nolta lens. You take that apart. The top section does also screw off, but I found that in most cases you just want to leave this on. Um, the next part is the bottom section, so this black piece down here. I'm showing this all assembled, um, but you can also have these pieces and uh, they come apart as well. Um, but this bottom section down here is the uh, microscope mount. So this goes onto the eye stalk of the microscope and mounts on there. Um, and you can just tighten and loosen the mount by rotating this clockwise and counterclockwise. So counterclockwise to tighten it and clockwise to loosen it. So there's also a few other pieces in here. One is this silver dial. So this silver dial, if you loosen it up a little bit, you'll notice that you can spin around the top section of the microscope adapter. And if you loosen it up a little more, you can actually remove the entire top section here. And that's one way to actually get the optic in place. The optic is gonna sit down, um, if you're shooting with the eyepiece, the eyepiece is gonna sit down right in here and you would shoot through the, uh, through the microscope, through the eyepiece um, as part of the optical system in here. Let me just put this back together. And then right above that, if I just grab the top section and the bottom section, you can also loosen up just the actual barrel right here and keep that bottom section all together in one piece. Now I've separated these two sections. And in the case of this uh, zoom eyepiece here, that's actually how you have to mount the camera or mount the camera onto the microscope and get the eyepiece in place. So let me first start off by removing the eyepiece right here. I'm going to remove the little screw that was locking in place. So it's just a circle going all around. And you'll notice that the actual diameter um, of the eyepiece is pretty large in this case. A lot of the eyepieces, uh, eyepiece optics are going to be smaller than this. Uh, so you can use a slightly different mounting order, but this order should always work for uh, almost every eyepiece. So with the lens barrel all separate and then the actual microscope mount down here, I'm going to take the microscope mount and put it onto the eyepiece, eye stalk right here, and then just loosen or tighten it up. Make sure that it's nice and snug on there. Next up, I'll take the eyepiece itself and just put it back into the eye stalk. And now I'll take the final part, the lens barrel here, and just screw it in place. Okay, and now I'm ready to actually mount the camera onto the microscope. So I'll take the camera here, find the little red dot, and mount the camera onto the SR mount. So one downside of using just any old microscope is, in this case, you can see that the eye stalk kind of goes out to the side, which makes actually using the microscope more convenient. But it does put a lot more weight on the eye stalk. So if you have a more complex setup, and depending on the type of camera you have, it's probably best to try to support it in some way. Um, so you're not putting too much weight on the eye stalk or on the actual microscope adapter itself. More expensive microscopes will actually have an up and down eye stalk that's much better suited for, uh, for actually mounting a camera on. But typically those are uh, a little bit more expensive, more of an, an investment. Um, but you can use 
use this adapter with any sort of microscope, pretty much. So now we're actually all set up here. And for actually demonstrating this, I'm going to be using a modern camera. So let me grab that real quick. So I cannot uh, film through the old Minolta SRT and actually capture it. All right, so I've grabbed a, any, my NEX7 here, and I've got a Minolta mount adapter here as well. I'll just attach the Minolta mount adapter to the camera. And now I can use it on the microscope adapter as well. So I'll just mount it the same way I would the old SRT-101. And let's see here. It's a little dark, but I think you can get the general idea here. There we go, that's a little better. So what we're looking at here is a piece of garlic that has been thinly sliced and dyed just using some, uh, some pen ink here um, to try to give it a little bit more interest. And this is on the lowest magnification for the actual objective optic here. Um, and then slightly, uh, and it's going through the eyepiece which has about a 15x magnification set currently. So you can see it's a little, little hard to control right now, uh, but kind of interesting looking, a little dark because I'm shooting a video on here. So let me see if I can brighten this up a little more. Yeah, so pretty, pretty interesting. I'll just go up one more zoom level. So that's one way to set up the whole microscope adapter here. Let me detach the camera real quick. So the other way to shoot through the adapter is to actually not use the eyepiece as part of the optical system at all. And this would probably actually be better in my case because the eyepiece I have is not very high quality. Um, so it's probably better if you can avoid using the eyepiece. Um, but oftentimes this just allows you to use a different set of magnifications because you're not actually shooting through the eyepiece. So I'll demonstrate how that works now. So I've taken apart the adapter and I've got the eyepiece on its own. I'm just going to set that aside. And with the adapter, there's this little tube that came with it as well. This is the shade tube. And the shade tube is used in place of where the eyepiece normally would go to make sure that, the, um, make sure that no light is actually leaking into the lens barrel by mistake. So I'll just take the little shade tube here, position it over the eyepiece, uh, or where the eyepiece used to go on the stock right there. And then I'll take the microscope adapter and just slide it in place. In this, in this time I'm not screwing it in place because um, I'm using the little section with the screw here. Tighten it down with the screw. Now I can just mount the camera. All right, so here's the same slide as before, but now looking at it without the eyepiece as part of the optical system. So it's just looking through the smallest objective optic here. You can see that obviously it's a lot more zoomed out. The magnification is not nearly as large, um, which also provides a kind of an interesting view of the piece here. So if you need a more zoomed out view, this is one way to, to achieve that. And then if we go into some of the higher magnifications without the eyepiece, so I'll go to the, the 40x objective optic here, and I'll have to turn up the light a little bit. You can also see that you can get some, uh, some interesting images zoomed in a little bit. So this really allows you to use a whole different set of magnifications. And in my case, because the eyepiece I have is, object is optically not the best, um, if I can avoid using it um, as part of the optical system, it's probably better as well. So now I can actually get perhaps a higher quality view of some of the uh, components in here um, if I, I don't need to have that extra magnification. So as you can see, mounting a camera to a microscope using the Minolta Microscope Adapter 2 is pretty straightforward. You can probably get set up in about a minute or so, and you have some control in deciding whether or not you want to actually use the eyepiece as part of the optical system or not, so it gives you a little bit more control over the magnification. I think that the real selling point of the adapter, though, is that it works with pretty much any old equipment. You might have an old Minolta camera or an old Minolta uh, or an old microscope lying about the house, and it will just work with that. Uh, so it provides a really low-cost way to actually try out film photomicroscopy if that's something you're interested in. Uh, if you don't have any of that equipment, the entire setup here can probably be had uh, for about $50. That includes the camera, microscope adapter itself, and then the microscope. So it's uh, very cheap if you're just wanting to try out photomicroscopy. See if it's something you're interested in, and then if it is something um, that you enjoy, uh, you can invest in uh, finding some better equipment that will be a little bit better suited and allow give you a little bit more control uh, over how you produce those images. 
You can also use a modern digital camera uh, on the adapter as well, uh, which works fine uh, for, most, uh, for most things. Um, it, it, it works as well as you would expect, really. Um, but there are probably better uh, adapters out there for uh, modern camera mount systems where you don't have to worry about also adapting the, uh, the camera to the Minolta SR mount as well. Uh, so I hope this video just cleared up a little bit uh, and explained a little bit on how you'd actually use the Minolta Microscope Adapter 2 and why you might want to try it out. I definitely recommend it if you're wanting to try out film photo microscopy. It's a great uh, low cost way to get started with that. And uh, as always, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section of the video and I'll try to answer those. Thanks.